debt-free college at Debt all free. public colleges oh. and universities. Um, this is, again, an idea that nobody was talking about a year ago and that a lot of people are still learning about. But um, early, about actually about a year ago, um, our sister organization, the Progressive Change Institute, did this month-long bottom-up process where we invited people from around the country to submit big ideas that they thought progressives should focus on mm -hmm. in 2015 and 2016. After about 1,600 votes or ideas were submitted by the public and members of Congress, think tanks, unions, uh, and a million votes were cast, one of the top ideas that rose to the top was debt-free college. Not only was it 71% to 19% popular, but among about 25 different issues that we then uh, polled nationally, uh, in addition to being you know, popular with the general election voters, among Democrats who didn't show up in 2014, when we asked them a second question of, would you have shown up if this issue, that issue, yeah. were campaigned on, the number one most motivational issue to Democratic drop-off voters was debt-free college. Not just young people, but working parents, grandparents who care about their grandkids. And you know, we're now at a place where all three presidential candidates have endorsed this idea after a lot of organizing. We're up to 100 members of Congress, including people like Chuck Schumer and Elizabeth Warren, working together on this idea. And just yesterday, we had 10 state legislators, to your point before, around the country who joined us for a national media announcement saying that they will be offering debt-free college resolutions back in their home state. So our goal so is So how does debt-free people... college work? I mean, is there yeah. tuition as well? And uh, the, the, the... Yeah, I mean, we generally think about it as three legs of the stool. One is massive federal aid to the states to bring down the cost of tuition at public colleges and universities. Um, really, a lot of states have just been robbing their state university budget in order to not have mm -hmm. to raise taxes and mm -hmm. fill budget gaps. Second is more federal aid and state aid to students, things like Pell Grants that help them pay for college. The third is innovations that bend the cost curve of college over time. You know, one easy example of that is some people go to a community college, want to kind of lateral over into a four-year college, and their credits aren't accepted. If you invest a little bit more time and money in making the, pro the, the quality of that community college better, it w it's a win for everybody who goes there, but also those credits are recognized, you're not repaying for two years. That's an innovation that bends the cost curve. The, the end goal, and, and there could be things like you know, 10 hours a week of work study, some degree of modest you know, parental contribution. Um, but the point is, when people graduate on graduation day, they should, people should be able to graduate with zero debt. Yeah. And for progressives, it's so important because you know, there's so many people that want to go into public service and sure. progressive things yeah. that have to go into corporate America to pay off $30,000, $50,000, $100,000 worth of debt. We have a brain drain in this country. Uh, it also impacts whether people can get married, buy a home, stuff like that. So th this, this will really unshackle so many people. That's why it's so popular, and we're making it a unified Democratic campaign issue yeah, I mean, from president that, all the way on down. That idea, you get, out of, you get out of college, and you don't have this burden on your back, right? I mean, you're free to just take off into your, the rest of your life in your new career, or marriage, job, and everything else without yeah. being saddled with yeah. 30000 or more. I mean, the stories that I've seen some people you know, up in the hundred thousands of debt. It's it's ridiculous, and you know Republicans like to to call this you know free stuff yeah, and demean right. it. This is you know the GI Bill got a seven to one return on investment for the American economy. You know, picture whether the Google co-founders could have founded Google if they each had a hundred thousand dollars in debt, right? There are innovative people out there that want to do vibrant things for our economy, employ people, you know, contribute to the tax base, but who are stymied from square one <laughs> if they're shackled with debt. This is an investment. And again, it, it, it includes a lot of skin in the game, working hard, in some cases, parental contribution, um, work study, but, the, but people should not have to have decades worth of debt when they graduate from college.